There's a new controversy surrounding BTS Jungkook that fans think is made up and is hurting his reputation. We're here to talk about the backdoor advertisement controversy and fans reaction to it. A couple of reports about BTS's Jungkook backdoor advertisement complaint have been going viral on social media. We're here to explain exactly what's going on and why ARMY are furious. The issue has been heating up for the past couple of days. It started with some netizens claiming that Jungkook was doing backdoor advertisement for his brother's brand. But what does backdoor advertisement mean exactly? The term refers to individuals who are usually in the social media sphere who advertise products to their audiences without disclosing they're being either paid or have ties to the product's company. Previously, there have been celebrities who were accused of this earlier this year. Joe Cook's older brother has established a clothing brand they manufacture clothing and accessories, and Jungkook was spotted wearing them a couple of times. The issue became heated when Korean news outlets reported that a netizen had actually filed a complaint to the FTC, which is the Fair Trade Commission, asking them to properly and thoroughly investigate the issue with Jungkook's alleged backdoor advertisement and they asked them to take the proper measures against it. The netizen goes on to claim that despite the fact that Jungkook had never told fans to buy the clothing, he wore it. He also uploaded selfies wearing the clothing. The netizen says, since BTS have a large following and can influence masses to buy fashion brands they wear, the fact that he's worn it is enough to warrant the complaint they had filed. In a recent report by Korean news outlet Bis Korea, Jungkook was revealed to have actually resigned from the company's position as the in-house director. The information is publicly available on the company's registry. The report by Biz Korea concludes that despite Hype not addressing the issue, Jungkook could have quit the position due to what's going on. However, does this even count as backdoor advertisement? Here's why it actually doesn't. If we take a look at the FTC guidelines to what constitutes backdoor advertisement in South Korea, this complaint doesn't seem to hold up. To fit that term, here is what must happen. The ad needs to be conducted via a third party that isn't the company or the advertiser. The product's recommendation is based on the experience or direct recommendation of purchase. There has to be money profit exchange with the advertiser. It is difficult to say that any of these even apply to Jungkook's case, especially since he has never once mentioned the name of the brand or even told his fans about it. Fans found out for themselves and purchased the clothing. This often happens with Jungkook as he is called the sold out king for selling out various items he uses or consumes. Some fans online are claiming that aunties are behind this forced controversy and they are attempting to hurt and harm his reputation. Thus, ARMY are furious with Hype's lack of action in defending Jungkook from such claims. They have been trending the hashtag StandForJK in response to the reports. As of this video, Hype labels have not yet responded to the ongoing situation. What do you think of this? Do you think the controversy is too fabricated or not? Let us know what you think in the comment section below.